Building up to the second day of this Davis Cup Euro Africa Zone Group 1 second round clash and uh, Great Britain with it all to do after the opening day. Uh, Jeremy Bates alongside myself Guy McCree again will be commentating on the second day of the doubles rubber but Jeremy, big disappointment for Great Britain on that opening day. Two five setters, eight hours, eight hours of tennis we commentated on. At the end of it, nothing to show for it in the score line. I, yeah, I mean, and I think it's very difficult to sort of uh, you know, swallow that really because when you look at the matches that uh, the two boys have played, uh, they've really put everything out on the board. There's been some astonishing tennis with James Moore has a really commanding position, was playing you know, incredible tennis as well. And, and it was a great effort from both of them. I mean, that is the nature of Davis Cup. I mean, as you say, eight hours uh, of sort of sweat, tears, emotions, and adrenaline. There's a great crowd, great atmosphere, but absolutely nothing to show for it at the end of the day. And, uh, and that is heartbreaking because I think that both of them have played well enough to. You know, Great Britain deserve at least to have a point out of the day. I mean, it's a great debut uh, for Denny Donskoy, let's not forget that. But the fact is, I mean, you look at the statistics in Davis Cup, teams coming back from 2 0 down, it's very, very difficult to see it. What's the mental approach? I mean, you've been Davis Cup captain of the Avon GB Davis Cup team before. What's the mental approach when you're 2 down? How do you approach the doubles rubber here in the middle of the weekend? Well, I think, you know, regardless of what the score is at any stage, you know, the match is not over, but it is still winnable. I mean, I, I, okay, the odds might be against you, the stats might say all that as well, but you have to believe, otherwise there's no point in being competitive, there's no point in being in a professional sports environment. The, the match is not over, and, and it's amazing how you can have a, a shift just from um, you know, one point. I mean, the doubles, that I think the boys are very much favourites today. They're, you know, they're a world-class doubles team, and, and it's a really weaker part of the Russian team as well. You win this point, you get back to 2-1, it changes how everybody feels, it changes the emotion of the, the atmosphere, the stadium, the team, everybody who is supporting them. And, and if you reverse both of those singles from yesterday, if it's that close, if they decided on the, the margins they have been decided on, we all saw that, then there's nothing to stop them. You know, both the singles players are turning around to their advantage tomorrow. It is about momentum. It starts this afternoon, 2-1. I think it gives everybody a boost, so you keep fighting, you never give up, there's no point in being in Sure, I mean a word on that doubles rubber, we're bringing it for you of course live on lta.org.uk, again live and exclusive, but Fleming and Murray against Beluda and Knitsin, I mean this is a rubber where Great Britain really would fancy their chances, I mean how do you break down that rubber, I mean Britain's strong favourites? Um, Britain very much strong favourites, yes, and I, I think what the Russians are doing is that they're going to rest the two singles players, and, and, and obviously yeah, and they're safe because they'll be that 2-0 is, is a great advantage, and, uh, and what they'll do is the two guys who are coming in to play doubles, it's a, it's a maximum they can just have a real go at, I don't think there's any pressure on them, I mean, I'm sure uh, Fleming and Fleming Murray are very much the favourites, very much the, you know, the strong doubles team for this uh, second match, but the Russians are dangerous, I mean, whenever anyone can go out there and they can swing freely, just have a real goal. They all know they're on the dogs, but they've got that cushion of 2-0. Two, two so, and I think that, you know, in that situation, when somebody is playing the uninhibited tennis, they can be very dangerous. But uh, I would fully expect that the uh, that, that Great Britain team will be open for that. They've been on the, the biggest stage in the world, the Grand Slam champion out there. They deal with the pressure, and uh, you know, I think everyone's hoping that they're going to have a, a strong performance and a win. We'll see how it pans out, of course, live and exclusive coverage uh, of the doubles rubber, Fleming and Murray against Baluda and Knitsin on the LTA website, lta.org.uk, from 1 o'clock local time, that's 12 o'clock GMT. Join us then.